After the financial meltdown of 2008, Congress came down on banks with their crushing one-size-fits-all mentality, without giving any thought to the differences between Wall Street and Main Street. Traditional banks, like your hometown Main Street banker that serves the community with capital, deposits, and loans, were constrained in their ability to help their customers. With overregulation, big banks are getting bigger, and small banks are disappearing. The overreaction by Congress to do something ended up hurting the very people Congress was trying to protect. So how do we get Congress to respect the role of traditional banking? The answer is we have to speak in the language they understand, electoral victories and defeats. And unfortunately, these are driven by money. PACs are a helpful tool, but are limited. When the average Senate race is spending $9 million to win, the $5,000 maximum PAC contribution doesn't do much. So friends of traditional banking came together in 2012 and turned the model inside out. We recommend two priority congressional races and encourage friends of our industry to donate what they can directly to those candidates. So instead of sprinkling small donations to many, our combined efforts result in huge dollar amounts to a couple of key races. It's a targeted rifle shot instead of a wide spraying shotgun. And it's a powerful new tool in the arsenal of bankers determined to gain more friends in Congress. We focus on races that are close, where one candidate is clearly more of a friend of traditional banking than the other, and where our money can really decide the race. It's also transparent, so that all can see the many individual bankers supporting each candidate. In 2012, over 200 friends of traditional banking donated over $200,000 to help Dean Heller in Nevada win one of that year's closest races. Heller won, and now we have a former bank executive on the Senate Banking Committee. And we grew. In 2014, over 1,000 friends donated over $1 million combined to the campaigns of Joni Ernst in Iowa and Cory Gardner in Colorado, resulting in two new senators friendly to common sense financial regulation. In the process, we defeated two Dodd-Frank supporters and credit union cronies. It's working. Won't you join us? It's free to join our list of friends. We'll let you know the two key races each election cycle, and you can then decide if you want to join thousands of us in donating to them. It's really that simple. Friends of traditionalbanking.com. Together, we can change how Congress treats traditional banking.